Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is part three of my swatch series for today. Hopefully these are all gonna go up in one day, but if they don't, please don't be sad. But I have been dying to play with this and it came in the mail yesterday, so I wanted to get a video up for you guys. This is the Huda Desert Dusk Palette and I thought it would be so fun for me to swatch this for you guys if you're interested in that at all. I recently filmed a like throwback video with this palette. Basically the concept of that video was whether if I could repurchase the previous Huda palette would I rebuy it and I tested it on my eyes. So if you're interested in that video I will link it up above because I believe that palette is going to get discontinued if it's not already discontinued. So. Definitely do some digging on that, but I am so excited for this guy. So I just got it in the mail, and this is what the inside of the palette looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen it a million times. There's a huge mirror. Um, there's this awesome little like protector, which has like Huda's eyes on it. So this palette comes with 18 eyeshadows, and I'm so excited to dive into it. So let's get started with the swatching. Of course, I refuse to you know, use this on my eyeballs until I filmed a swatch video for you guys. So far, the mattes are feeling really good. Oh my gosh. So I just did the first five shades here on my fingers. I have Desert Sand. I have Musk. I have Eden. I have Amber. And I have Blood Moon. Oh my god. Look at how Blood Moon swatched. I can't even believe this, you guys. I have to go on a four-day vacation tomorrow. And I was not planning on bringing this palette with me because I don't want it to break on my trip. And so I'm going to have to wait five days to play with this. I'm so, so sad. I'm so excited to be going on vacation. Don't get me wrong. But uh, that blood moon is already making me thirsty for this Huda palette. <sighs> you guys, I'm so pumped. I'm so glad I picked this palette up because I said I was done with Huda Beauty and... Then she had to go announce this palette, and I'm like, God damn it, woman. But I'm not mad. You know, there's no need for you to be mad either. I got a really mean comment on that video where I had said I don't like Too Faced and like the whole drama, and then I had um, filmed a review video on the Manny Jeffrey collab, and somebody was like, you said you're done with Too Faced, but you're going to support Jeffrey Star, the person that starts all the drama. And I was like, first of all, his collab came out in like May, which was like months ago. And you know, I don't really buy much from him, but yeah, I fell into the hype and bought the collab. And if you actually watch my video, I recommended not buying the collab because it was not fucking worth the hype. So before you come at somebody with 649, you know, subscribers, you're not really gonna change the world. And she was kind of mean. I don't really care that much, but it was pretty funny. I thought it was really funny. I was mad about it, but I don't know. I just feel like women, you know, they, they just need to take a chill pill sometimes. Okay, I totally messed up these swatches, so pardon while I try to explain this to you. So the next shade is Ode, which is this beautiful freaking color. These mattes are amazing. Then it's the shade Celestial which is a beautiful like duochrome green peach color. And then we have Nefertiti. That's the one I mixed up. I swapped these two accidentally. Nefertiti is like your regular golden eyeshadow. Then we have this fucking shade. I think I'm gonna buy two of these palettes because if I run out of these colors, I'm gonna lose my mind. It's called Twilight. Do you guys see that? It's like the most beautiful unicorn eyeshadow I've ever seen in my life. And then Amethyst, which is like a beautiful hot purple shade. Okay guys, my camera died, so again, I just wanted to show you, in case you missed it, this is the shade Twilight, holy god, and then this is the shade Amethyst. Like, are you freaking kidding me right now? These shades are speaking to me on a spiritual level. Okay, then I'm gonna swatch the next couple of shades here. Oh my, oh god. Okay, Cosmos definitely glitter, like they said, so you've been warned. Oh my god, there's so many like gorgeous like duochromes in this palette. Oh god. Oh my god. Ah! 
Do you guys see this? I'm fucking dying right now. So there's Royal, which is gorgeous. Um, retrogr retrograde, which is similar to the shade Twilight, but like a more green shade. Then I have Cashmere, which is like a beautiful champagne color. We have Angelic, which reminds me of a shade in the Rose Gold palette, actually. And then Cosmo, which is straight up glitter. It's like a pressed glitter. So you definitely want to use a glitter base with that shadow. And then we have three more gorgeous shades left to freaking swatch. You guys, I have swatched three palettes tonight. And if you're going to get one, make sure it's the freaking Huda palette because it just slayed my life. And I bought the Lila palette or the Lila palette. I will link the swatch video right here uh, for you guys to check out. But that palette is not as exciting or doing things to me like this palette is. So here are the last three shades oh my god are you kidding me right now Huda oh she has just restored my faith in her brand like I don't know about all the other sketchy stuff that's happening with Huda Beauty I would look into that later but as far as this palette goes guys this is like slaying my existence so this shade right here is Turkish Delight it's a beautiful like berry shimmery shade and then we have saffron and blazing. Oh my god. These are gorgeous. Like I can't even handle it. This is straight up glitter. Watch. Do you guys see that? So definitely a glitter glue for that. But oh my god. You have to get this palette. You have to get this palette. I don't care if you need to save up your allowance. Or you know great grandpa Jim is getting cut out the Christmas will. Um, or the Christmas gift list. But holy god. It's beautiful, guys. So here is the close-up of the palette once I'm done swatching with it. Not too much fallout. Of course, Cosmo definitely treated like a glitter. I really like dug into it. I wouldn't recommend that. I would just like tap your finger on it. You really don't need to try and swatch it like an eyeshadow. But yeah, I'm like slayed right now. This is this is like it killed it. Just just killed it so okay I'm gonna stop blabbering that is everything for my swatch video of the Huda palette did you guys see that Fenty is coming out with a holiday line in October oh my god I'm like already planning my October purchases so definitely the Fenty palette and then I want to pick up all of the Pat McGrath labs eyeshadow palettes but that's probably not gonna happen because those are so ridiculously expensive so if you guys have an opinion on which one I should get I would love to hear your thoughts Leave me a comment down below. I am sweating buckets. I gotta go pack for my vacation. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a good night. Bye.